Welcome back to another video from the Craft Mansion. As you can see from the title of the video and from what I'm wearing, today I'll be showing you how to make the costume of Doctor Strange from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I have the Eye of Agamotto here, sling rings, the belt, gloves, the cloak of levitation, everything. As you can see I did some facial hair and the sides of my hair are grey. So stick with me through the video and you can see how I created this costume in the tutorial right after the intro. So I'm going to start off with the shirt because underneath I have this old shirt, it's dark blue But first I need to remove the buttons I have a zip which I'm going to glue with hot glue onto the fabric The zip is working Whoops Yes, it's working And now I keep going the rest of the way by gluing both pieces together with hot glue Now at the bottom of the shirt there's also a bit fabric, which is also blue, and it hangs right about here, it's a bit diagonal, so it goes like this. Okay, and now let's attach this piece onto the shirt. Okay, so now let's move on to the sleeves. Around the sleeves he has a sort of piece of cloth, it's uh, grey and white and blue, it's gonna use this t-shirt and cut strands from it and then wrap them around the arm. Now I have three shades of grey, I have the light one, darker one and then this is the middle one and I will start attaching them around the arm. So again, hot glue. I would probably burn myself but I'm gonna try this. The top is finished, so now let's start the vest that goes on top. For the vest, I'm going to use a dress since this has no arms and it's long enough, uh, like the one in the costume. Now I need to cut it from the middle so it can be opened. Of course, the dress is just the basis, so I'm going to add more pieces of cloth to it. On the vest, Dr. Strange has these folds. They start from here and then go around the neck and then on the other side to the bottom. So I'm going to use another piece of cloth and attach it to the other parts. So I finished the five folds, yes I did five, so I have one, two, three, four and five. And then at the side I have to attach the rest of the dress with the folds. Here I'm attaching the folds to the neck. Since the dress is not wide enough, I'm just going to add another piece of cloth to the dress. At the other end, the vest has four layers, which overlap like this. And it's also not even, so I'm cutting it sideways, so the strips are of different lengths. This goes right about here. I'm going to stick this to the rest of the dress. And there we go. So this is basically done. It just needs to be spray painted. For the pants, I'm just going to use these. They're already blue. I just need to paint over the logo. For the boots, I'm going to use these two. They're a bit short, so I have to put some extensions on them.
I ended up taking off half of the cardboard because the shoe wasn't that flexible with a large piece of cardboard. Now it's duct tape time. Now I just need to punch the holes back in. So on his boots he has this blue belt. I'm just going to use a piece of cloth and fold this into three and then stick it to the boots. So I need a strand for each boot, I made two, and now these can be spray painted. The boots also have to be spray painted, so I'll put these aside for now. And we also need two buckles. I'm just going to use these two so I can attach the strips later. Of course Doctor Strange has a lot of belts, so I just found these, they were old belts of mine. And I also need pieces of leather, this is fake leather. So. First, let's glue these together. I don't need the buckles, so I'm just gonna take them off. I'm just putting these aside to spray paint later. The belts also have these circular buckles. I'm just going to start with this buckle I had. We don't need that. Now I'm going to do a circle so I can line the buckle. The Doctor Strange costumes in the movie and in Infinity War do not have gloves, but the one in Thor Ragnarok has gloves, so I have a pair of black gloves which are white from the inside, so I'll just flip them and then paint them yellow. And now it's time to paint the costume parts. Then the shirt that goes underneath, I put a little extension, so I'm just gonna paint this. And the whole vest is blue. After the painting, I put the belts together. I have the main buckle, which I attached with yarn to the other belts. Then I added some fake strips of metal, which I made from colored cardboard. The belts are held together with velcro, which I hand stitched onto the belts. For the boots, I attached the blue strip on one side of the boot, then through a buckle on this side, and then round three times, so that on the other side it can be locked like this. And those were attached to two sling rings, one with an elastic band and the other with a buckle. For the eye of Akamoto, I'm going to start off with a picture. This won't be a perfect replica, 
since it is part of the costume. It doesn't need to be that perfect. While those two pieces dry, I'm going to start off with the middle piece. So I have a Jablo ball. Okay, so I'm going to do a circle so I can melt the inner piece away. So I made different parts for the eye. This is the middle part, then we have these crossing things and then we also have the outer ring, the inner ring and the platform for the eye. So first I'm going to cut the shape of the foam. The outer ring goes onto another layer of cardboard. The slower piece is a darker shade of gold. Then there's the inner circle and on top of that is this shape. And these two are gold. For the eye itself I have the middle piece and the outer ring. I just need to glue these. This piece goes in the middle. And now I can start rounding out the edges. The eye is attached to the necklace by these two tubes. The eye has these ridges, which I'm going to copy onto the eye I made with a black felt pen. I put some other details onto the pieces, like this piece. Before I attach these parts to the eye, I'm just going to seal it with Mod Podge. The eye needs these last few pieces, and then it will be almost done. For the necklace itself, I just wrapped some electrical tape around the shoelace and then stick it to the eye with hot glue. To make this link ring, I'm also going to start off with a picture. For the ring part, I'm going to use two bottle caps and I just need the cylindrical parts over here. The rings are now finished, so now it's time to make the upper part. And I'm going to use two layers of foam board. To cover up this whole mess, I'm just going to stick a piece of cardboard onto the sling ring. For these two designs at the top, I'm just going to put a dab of super glue, and at the center, I'm going to push in a baby gum bullet. I did some other details to the ring. There are these strips over here, and they also painted the caps white. And now I can start sealing up the whole thing. The basic color of the ring is gold, but it also has some details. And now the last thing to do is add shadows to the deeper areas. So I'm going to mix some water with black paint. And this can be applied to the ring. For the cloak of levitation I'm using red cloth. It is 2 meters by 1.5 meters and I bought it for 930. This part is the back and then this part is the left side. So as you can see this is the neck and this is the left shoulder pad. Then there are three folds which go from this side to this side, but these five go this side, are more spaced, and they are folded all the way. On the left shoulder of the cloak there is this pad, which I made out of foam, by first cutting an oval, and then making it dome shaped. Then this is also covered with red cloth. I covered the shoulder pad that goes on the left shoulder, and I also added some strips of darker red. And then I can stick the shoulder pad to the rest of the cloak with hot glue. For the color, I cut out this shape. In the middle there is a piece of stiffening, it's like a harder fabric. And then it's covered with red cloth. Then the color was sewn onto the rest of the cloak. The last things to attach to the cloak are these two golden shapes, they're made out of golden cardboard. And then beneath them are two buttons so I can take off the cloak from the rest of the costume.
that is the process behind Doctor Strange's costume. On the Clock of Levitation, I also did some patterns, similar to the ones in the movies, by painting red diamonds onto the fabric. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Of course, if I had a real time stone, I could bargain you into subscribing, but since I don't have one, you can subscribe right here, and you can also watch some other videos like this one and this one.